For the last 10 years, uh, most of the claim for man-caused global warming it comes from what is known as the hockey stick curve, where you see small variations in temperature over uh, thousands of years, and then when we get to the latter part of the 20th century, all of a sudden the sky starts to skyrocket. It's like a hockey stick on its a, on a edge. Speaking of goal, what does a hockey stick have to do with all this? <laughs> well, uh, this goes back to the start of it all. A, a professor at uh, an American university named Michael Mann created yeah. a graph of temperatures through millennium flatlining and then shooting up at the end, the shape of a hockey stick. And the UN panel said, Ooh, love that. Yeah. And they kind of made it their Bible. <laughs> and it became the cornerstone of their whole campaign. Dr. Richard Alley is one of the most experienced, respected, and honored experts on climate and paleoclimate in the world. His lectures at Penn State University and appearances on Capitol Hill are legendary for their wit and clarity. In a recent speech at Penn State University, Dr. Alley mentioned hearing the it's all based on the hockey stick canard from a highly placed congressional aide. So, so we're down there. We're meeting with the staff after having talked to the, the congressional people. And a staff member, a high staff member, on a committee that deals with science. This is their job, is to deal with science. The staff member who has the Congress people's ear says, I didn't take science in school. I don't know science. I don't like science. But you scientists are wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. OK? And then, says, OK, I know that the basis for global warming is a hockey stick that's broken. OK, now this is, the basis for global warming is physics. It's physics been known for more than a century. It's physics that was really worked out by the Air Force. And the Air Force was not doing global warming. They're communicating, they're operating, and in World War II they say, hey, we better understand the atmosphere and we understand how energy works in the atmosphere. And then they said, you know, the hot exhaust of that enemy bomber is a target for a heat-seeking missile. And I'm going to need a sensor that sees the heat of that. And if I make that sensor look in a wavelength where water vapor or CO2 are active, I can't see it because they're in the way. And they got a bunch of physicists who said, you know, CO2 and water vapor block some things. And they stop energy from moving around. And once they and the Navy, and Ford, and some scientists from academe said, you know, if it's blocking energy from a hot enemy bomber, it's blocking energy from the Earth, too. That probably means something. And that's really the basis of global warming. Now, we click forward here a little bit. If you sit on a satellite and look down in one wavelength, you have the water vapor loop that you see on TV on the weather forecast. That's part of the greenhouse effect. If you look at another wavelength, right in here, this is the energy going to space seen by the satellite that is cooling the Earth off. And this is the energy that CO2 is blocking. It's blocking some other at other wavelengths as well. But it's, it's observed fact. Now, in fact, there's two curves on here. And I'm going to walk you through them briefly. Click once. This is what CO2 is blocking that is not cooling the planet. And over a bit more than a decade, this is how much more is being blocked in the next slide. And if we raise CO2 more, this is how much more can be blocked in the next slide. Um, and so what, click one more, there you go, okay? What is blocking? How much more is blocking? How much more it could block? It's not correlations, it's not hockey sticks, it's physics. Okay, so click the next one. Now, this staff member is sitting there telling me, you know, I didn't take science, I don't know science, I don't like science, but I'm going to tell you that you're basing global warming on a hockey stick. No, we're not. We're basing it on something that a satellite measures, okay? What actually happened is somebody who was going to argue against doing anything about global warming gave this person the story rather than getting it from the scientific community. As for that hockey stick, it's longer and stronger than ever. And it's been replicated numerous times using a variety of different temperature indicators. It's not the proof of the physics of greenhouse gases. 
is evidence of the effects that they're already having and a warning for what may yet happen if human beings fail to wake up in time from climate denial, disinformation, 